in this video we are going to discuss about using telnet on the ios devices so what is this telnet you see it is possible to telnet from cisco ios device to another device here so this can be done while troubleshooting across multiple devices by telneting into the other devices you see a better example with the syntax here that from my router which is a device name we have have for our, our router telneting to the ip address of the switch here which is 192.168.1.7 so it's trying to open and it will prompt you for username and password then after providing the username and password for the authentication purpose you will be logging into the switch so you are telneting from your router to the switch so that you can access or you can communicate with the switch here and you can see that remote device if a remote device is an ios device you need two things here one is the line password the other one is enable password or secret and also when you exit the telnet session by using a logout command but this the session which which you previously exist will be running in the back end and you will be coming back to the device one which is your device see the syntax here from switch you have typed the command or the syntax clearly see that it is logout and the connection has been foreign host closed and you came into the first device which is your router but this session is not disconnected it is just running in the back end you so you see you can tell it to multiple devices simultaneously but you can the the sessions will be running in the back end again you can come back to the main device which is your router so you can you can see here telnet into the switch here 192.168.1.7 then it will prompt you for username and password for authentication then you go to switch and if when you enable it you it lasts for the password which is an ios device switch so that it lasts for your line password after entering the password it will switch off and you see you have, when you press control shift plus 6x here so it will close that session and come back to the main session but it will not disconnect from that session here and you can see the first device the telnet session and the remote device are still active because the first device is active and also the remote sessions which you are directly connecting will also be active here so from your router you are connecting to 192.168.1.37 and you see here user access verification prompt has come up and it lasts for username and password after providing username and password you will be connected to the switch 2 so these sessions are there in the session but it will get closed but not disconnected but again you can get back to any of the session using your commands here so this is about the telnet in the ios how to connect from one device to another device by using the telnet